on this call out i am doing a repair on this geyser i am not a plumber any mechanical work on the geyser i don't do it i only do the electrical work on geysers so here the client told me that there was fire here so i had to open and see for myself as you can see there is a smoke here black smoke meaning that there was an arc here I can also see that even on the thermostat itself, the male lock on the left has a smoke on it too. So that means there was a bad arc happening there. So what I did, I just cleaned the female lock and the male lock. After that, I fitted the thermostat back and now I am gonna close here. I can also see that the the wire strands are naked there, but this cover since it's a plastic, I'm not worried about that. I might use a tape to tape that opening if I want to. One more thing that I also saw here is that the temperature is high. So I will set it around 50 or even 60. Now that I'm done where there was an arc, it's time for me now to come to the DB box. This is my DB box and this is the earth leakage. So the input or the sources for the earth leakage come from the top. Then this is the output we are given by the earth leakage. So these are the output of other breakers. So you can see that this DB box might need attention in the near future, um, like being started from scratch. So I wanna check if every screw is tight um, from the earth leakage which also acts as a main breaker for this DP box because there is no MCB main, main circuit breaker. Well, all the screws are tight. Even the screws on other breakers, they are tight, so I am happy. But my job is not complete until I know what's causing this circuit breaker to trip. Um, I noticed something on this DP box. Um, after the earth leakage, we've got a circuit breaker, which is 35 amps for a stove. We've got another breaker following, which is 25 amps. The circuit breaker that they said is for the geyser is the second last, the one I'm pointing. And it is 15 amps. And that is wrong. A circuit breaker for a geyser is not supposed to be 15 amps. It can either be 40 or 35. It can't be 15 amps. If it's 15 amps, it's going to trip as it is tripping because the geyser is drawing the current that is above the breaker's current. So when that happens, the geyser will trip. So I will have to replace the circuit breaker um, with the breaker that is the correct MPS for a geyser. What I know is I am not going to be able to get Heinemann, which is the brand for the breaker that I will be replacing. I'm going to get CBI like this one used here on this earth leakage so what's left for me now is to remove this 15 m breaker unscrew every wire that is fitted on it and install the new breaker which is cpi I always say it's important for an appliance technician to know electricity. Like it's it's always important to know a DB box from scratch 
and also to know how to troubleshoot it or how to do fault finding on it on plugs also because sometimes our customers call us for an appliance when we get there though those times are rare the problem is not with the appliance is is with the db box or the plug it's the house wiring so on such cases if an appliance technician does not know electricity might battle what i will do i'll just pause the video remove the old breaker fit the new breaker wire it then i'll be done now job is complete here is the new breaker it's cbi and it's 40 amps so the geezer will no longer trip now this is the old breaker please don't forget to subscribe